Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And guys, what's happening to Wendy Williams? I see a lot of headlines this week talking about her uh, health declining, uh, a lot of rumors about her health. Uh, now Sherry Shepard is apparently allegedly taking over for the show this season and potentially permanently. On top of that, you got this new headline that dropped today of the fact that Wells Fargo has freezed Wendy Williams' account over dementia claims. Now she's saying that's not true. They're keeping the money from her. I wanted to go and figure out what's happening with Wendy Williams because I got to be honest, I, I have not followed Wendy Will Williams closely. I'm not an avid watcher. I know she's like, a gossip uh, TV host, uh, host, and I've seen some of the memes and clips. I mean, it's hard to not think of her and think of this. Let's be and honest. And she's probably got five new boyfriends. We haven't caught anybody coming out of the house yet, but you know, just a matter of time. She's not lonely. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. I mean, look, a good fart burp is always funny. Uh, but now it's like, is it funny? Does she actually have like a disease and, and issues that may have been what has been causing those things. I know a lot of people showed that Statue of Liberty moment she had, which I just watch and I'm just terrified by it. it looks like the fear in her eyes. Like that was legit. Look, I, I feel for Wendy Williams and what she's going through right now. And I hope she's okay. So what is she going through and what's happening? The reality is, look, I know a lot of you don't like Wendy Williams. In fact, I don't. I, I, I The one other story I know about her, not trying to drag up the history, but I just want to give you the full sort of history on Wendy Williams. Is like, I don't, I don't like what she did to Method Man. There's a lot of instances and stories like this, but she announced live on air that Method Man's wife had cancer without his permission and before he'd ever had a chance to tell, you know, their family and friends. And he was livid. And, you know, she, that, she was a gossip person who would go out there and spill it before someone else would, even at the sake of, you know, a, a cancer diagnosis with the family. So, look, that said, I understand a lot of people are just like, karma, Wendy. Yeah, but, but, but look, at the end of the day, even though I don't like what she's done, nobody deserves to, to go through what it seems like she's going through. And I, I want to make sure she's okay. Look, I'm just getting updated now. I've been researching this morning. If anybody has more information, please loop me in, in the, on the bottom because I may keep an eye on this story. But let's update you guys on what's actually happening so far. All right, so uh, right now, uh, she's been on hiatus for a while, in fact. To be honest, she's been on hiatus for a little while. And uh, she's had a lot of guest hosts. Michael Rappaport, Sherry Shepard, and many others have been p piping in to sort of take over while Wendy took a hiatus due to her health. Now she has, uh, it's called, uh, let me make sure I have the, uh, sorry, there's a lot here. Uh, it's called Graves disease. It's an autoimmune disorder. Uh, and uh, going through sort of what that condition, what happens, she took the Graves, uh, she took a personal, uh, personal break of February 2018. She took a small month long hiatus. And then in 2019, in January, she fractured her shoulder, took a six week leave of absence. And then she took a Graves related hiatus in May of 2020, returned in September, then took another break in the fall of 2021. Uh, she's had a lot of hiatuses back and forth. And so that's made a lot of people speculate what's going on. She's also admitted she's had problems with addiction and substance abuse, etc. She had a, a, a bad divorce. Divorce. Like she's gone through the ringer with a lot of things and I feel for her and not here to, to knock her down longer. But all of this, I think, sort of helpful in understanding why there's 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 been a lot going on in her life. She opened up about her Graves disease diagnosis an autoimmune disease that attacks the thyroid and hyperthyroidism diagnosis in the past. Stuff with the thyroid can cause stomach issues and th so all those laughs we were doing about the fart burps might have been part of the problem. I don't know if there's a doctor who can confirm that. Let us know. Are we allowed to laugh at the fart burp still? Or is that now being insensitive given that she does have a grave disease? I didn't even mean that pun. Uh, but yes, this is, is a really tough, uh, painful uh, disease she has. Now, she took that break uh, in 2018 following a short break. She talked about that uh, Graves disease diagnosis. I feel 100% better than I was a few months ago. I had a storm going in my body is the best way I can explain it. Uh, she told the outlet of time revealing she'd been diagnosed 19 years ago came from me neglecting my six month endocrinology appointment. I have Graves disease. I'm hyperthy and hyperthyroid. If you don't have one, you don't necessarily have to have the other, but I have both and I was diagnosed with both 19 years ago. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means, you know, there's a lot of tabloids going out there taking really photos out of the sad spiral, can't dress herself without her help and fans worry about her health and she appears disheveled and first sighting since her son threatened her with ultimatum. Like it's been now tabloid fodder and it's just awful to watch this stuff. And it's, I didn't really get into any of this cause it felt extremely private. And then page six and others coming out with, well, there's actually a lot of truth to these health leaks that have been going out talking about the, how the staff is sort of not sure what to do anymore. Uh, she's healing slower than hoped. It's really unclear what was happening. However, back January 9th, her son, uh, who had been taking care of her, who many had 
many had assumed that he was sort of giving these ultimatums saying get your stuff together that claiming it wasn't just the disease it was also alcoholism and other things that were a lot of the claims out there which i don't know what's true i'm not here to to get into that all that but there has been a lot of sort of accusations about her uh but given last january her son uh posted this f f uh story on instagram for eating a salad in bed a smoothie and she looked healthy um she uh this was on january 7th after who take after this long you know many leaves of absence with for the health issues and she was resting and seeming better it was captionless uh there was a drake song do not disturb added to it but uh, a lot of you know fans were like his mother's keeper good boy take care of your mama so nice to see a son taking care of his mama he loves his mama love to see it such a great son uh and so you know a lot of people mentioning how good she looked she looks good well rested in good spirits she looks much healthier happy for her so that's the latest we've actually seen and and now the big news being that, uh, hold on, I have it here. Uh, she, uh, the rumor now is, well, the news for sure is that she's not coming back this season. Sherry Shepard is rep re uh, replacing her. However, the talk is that she's going to become the permanent host. Sherry Shepard used to be on The View. Uh, she was sort of the one that the uh, producers picked. And they've been having, you know, a long guest host thing here as fans deal with the fact that, yeah, Wendy's unable to come back. She's not coming back due to her health concerns. Will she come back next year? Unclear. But all the uh, insider in industry experts are all saying, and this is, you know, Deadline, they're usually pretty good about their Hollywood scoops, um, even though they steal from others. Um, they're, they're saying this deal with Sherry Shepard is a permanent deal. Like, if Wendy wants to come back, they're going to have to adjust and do something else. But they are negotiating with, with Sherry in good faith of like, look, we got to honor Wendy's show and the contract this season. It's the Wendy Williams show starring you. However, the rumors are starting next fall, which they're not really dealing with yet. But I'm sure they're starting to have the conversations starting in the fall. It'll become the Sherry Shepard show, which I'm curious. Wendy Williams fans are watching. Are you OK with that? Do you like her? Do you like, should it still be the Wendy Williams show forever, even though it's not Wendy Williams anymore? Uh, I want to hear your thoughts on that. But where things really got more interesting and worrisome for me, and part of the reason I wanted to sort of step into this whole conversation of what's going on is, is she okay? What's happening? Wells Fargo has now freezed her account over dementia claims. Now, this doesn't seem like it's gossip. This is, you know, this is a Wells Fargo allegedly froze the accounts after Wendy's former accountant informed the bank that she was suffering from dementia and was not oriented to reality. Now, this isn't like a speculation because Wendy is now threatening to file a lawsuit after Wells Fargo holding several million dollars worth of funds. Wendy hasn't worked since July 2021. She's reportedly down to her last several million. Again, I'm sure there's a lot of speculation here. Uh, she wants desperate to desperate to get to her, her account. Attorney representing the Queen of Daytime is asking the court for an emergency order forcing Wells Fargo to unfreeze her accounts. In court documents obtained by The Sun, Wendy's attorney stated Wells Fargo is in possession of several million dollars worth of funds belonging to Wendy, and she has been denied access to her funds for more than two weeks. Wells Fargo justified the action, claiming Wendy signed an agreement allowing her accounts to be frozen pending a court order if the bank suspects financial exploitation dementia or undue influence so it's interesting a lot of these banks that we don't even realize that they have can a lot of that fine print can lock us out of our account it's so crazy as we know all this stuff about conservatorships and people her, her old uh, uh uh what is it accountant who's uh, key word there her her old accountant um was here uh her uh, former accountant who knows if he's disgruntled, whatever, whatever. He's now managed to warn Wells Fargo she's having dementia. Now, maybe he it, maybe he was looking out and like, dude, be, this is this is scary. But is that his right? Shouldn't she be able to do what she needs to do? Uh, especially if he's now uh, trying to go through court and she's signing documents to do it. Who's in control now? Is someone trying to get that money? Was someone trying to protect her from that money? Now I got questions. This one's a little bit more complicated now. Wendy's attorney claims the bank overreached its authority. He is seeking a judge's order, allowing access to our financial accounts, assets, and statements while our dispute with Wells Fargo is resolved in arbitration. Court docs allege that Wells Fargo is in breach of their fiduciary duty and that Wendy is suffering imminent and ir ir uh, irreparable financial damages. So, yeah I, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. This this is worrisome, and I feel I feel for her. Uh, I, I hope she's okay. Look, I, I don't like a lot of stuff she said as I've gone through and went through. She's definitely taken gossip sometimes too far, I, I, in my opinion. And uh, she has a lot of hot takes that a lot of people have called her out for. At the end of the day, though, she's human being and she deserves to have her dignity and her money 
And I'm worried here. What's going on? Is someone controlling it? Is the bank actually correct, trying to protect her? Is someone trying to take that money because of her dementia? Does she have dementia? These are all the questions that we don't have answers to yet. Uh, again, the only thing we can sort of show is the fact that, yes, she seemed fine here, but a short story doesn't necessarily tell us everything. Uh, all I can go off is the fact that Wendy and her attorney are out there fighting for access, so it seems like that's what should be given. But I'm curious what you guys think, given all this. And do you think she'll come back? Uh, she's under contract. There's a, they're trying to be careful here because, look, Wendy Williams is a huge uh, star in daytime. She is. Uh, some call her the queen of daytime, queen of gossip. Uh, no disrespect to her. I think that's legitimately fair. These these uh, syndication networks that have her rely on her, and she brings in a lot of ratings and support. So they don't want to just turn to that community and, and cancel a show while she's sick. So I think they've been doing as long as they can, these co-hosts, but it's hard to have like co-hosts constantly dip in and out. You want someone to commit for a while. And so they are finally making that commitment to Sherry. Uh, and, it, and it does sound like this could be a long-term commitment. It doesn't seem like Wendy's going to be able to come back. That said, are they just not letting her? Uh, I'm sure there's going to be more of this story as it unfolds. So I want to make sure we got you guys updated and we'll keep you posted. If anybody out there has, has more information I missed, you can always hit me up on social media down below right here at Andy Signor, uh, or you can email us popcornplanetteam at gmail.com. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, the bell for all alerts, smash that like button, and leave your comments to help the algorithm. All that stuff helps the video. But again, what do you think? Tell us down below about Wendy Williams. Do you watch? Do you like her? Do you feel bad even though you don't like her? Also, click on these. I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching.